I didn't have the strength to argue with my doctor. This doctor lost her baby because of severe morning sickness. More than 20 years later, she's one of the researchers who finally found what causes it. I could not eat or drink or move without violently vomiting for weeks. My doctor put me on seven different drugs at once. None of them worked. Finally, I was put on a feeding tube, but it was too late and I lost the baby in the second trimester. During that whole time of really incredibly immense suffering, my doctor told me that he thought it was just me exaggerating symptoms because I wanted attention from my husband and from my parents. After that, I looked into what was known about hyperemesis and there was very little known. Hyperemesis gravidarum is a type of extreme morning sickness during pregnancy. Morning sickness affects approximately 70% of pregnant people in the U.S., with 1 to 3% having hyperemesis gravidarum. But doctors believe the number of undiagnosed cases might be much higher. I was going to find the real cause no matter how long it took. When I first started, there was no funding, there was no interest. Actually worked on it for several years without any funding, just on my own, on the side. I applied for funding to the NIH twice to do a genetic study, but both times it was rejected. So I ended up partnering with 23andMe. I asked them to put in questions about hyperemesis in their surveys, and in 2016, I got that data from them and saw that the greatest genetic risk factor was this hormone called GDF15. We embarked on this study now, which was published in Nature just this past week, which really explains the mechanism of what's going on and identifies a way to both prevent as well as treat potentially patients with hyperemesis first, and then we would go into morning sickness. Severe cases with hyperemesis can lead to a rare condition that causes brain damage and can be life-threatening and is easily treatable with a vitamin B1 or thymine pill or shot. And with the baby, there's increased risk of neurodevelopmental delay and autism spectrum disorder. It's a really, really distressing condition that is really a kind of torture. People all over the world are still dying from nausea and vomiting of pregnancy in this age, which seems just ridiculous to me. I hope to, in the next year or so, start on clinical trials to test some of these new ways to prevent and treat it. Hopefully in the next five years or so, we will be able to take this to patients um, after the clinical trials are done. And I think hope is definitely on the horizon. We understand the mechanism now, and we are working very hard to get those possible medications uh, tested and out there as fast as we can.